I'm Sunny Goldberg, and welcome to Know Your Neighbors, a particularly special day because my Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl last night. I just came back this morning. It was one of the best nights uh, ever, and uh, I was thrilled about that, and I'm thrilled to be sitting here with a dear friend, a wonderful representative, probably the best I know, um, from our great state of New York and Westchester County. Thank you for sitting down, Nita, and talking to me. I am delighted to be here with my dear friend, Sonny Goldberg. And? And to be here on this day. Okay. And I watched the game last night knowing of your passion. <laughs> I cheered and cheered Thank for you. Kansas. Even though Nancy Pelosi is from San Francisco. I know. And I'm sure she was watching the game and very but sad. But 50 years. It's That's been 50 right. years. And I mean, come on. Exactly. It was a thrill. Thank you. But I'm much. always delighted to be here with you. Thank In you. fact, when I first ran... You were right there, exactly. supportive of me from you the were, very and beginning. And we had you here in Larchmont Mamernick uh, for 24, what do you, uh, 24 years, 22? Um, um, Until here. you got gerrymandered I know, I away. Know. So you started with that first election. You're uh, how many years in the House of Representatives? I am here for 32 years. Okay. But I remember how thrilled I was the first time. to have you and the Marinick and oh. all the wonderful people who care about Long Island Sound. And that's oh. why one of the first things I did was try and clean up Long Island you Sound. You did, and I'll that's never right. forget that. Is it um, clean now? It's much better. Are you kidding? <laughs> um, remember five points, or we made the dedication in New Rochelle, and that whole walk path and... Um, uh, y you are retiring. Yes, I yes. get that. 16 elections, and Stephen is waiting to have a nice life. Nine <laughs> grandchildren? Eight, Eight. grandchildren. Okay. And frankly, a husband who is so supportive. Yeah. I remember the first election. Oh, my God. And we were knocking on doors together. And if right. I knocked on a door and someone said, forget it, I said, thank you very much. Steve would put his <laughs> foot in the door, and he said, you have to vote for my wife. So mm -hmm. he was a great partner and has been a great partner. And if Stephen was sitting here right now, he would tell us exactly the address of the door that he put. He has the best you memory. You know him too he well. He has the best memory of anybody I've ever known. But, it's true. It's but, true. But um, <laughs> that truly was uh, something that, but I think what, made me so proud to have you as my congresswoman, not only that you were a woman, but that you had the ability, everybody loved you. It didn't make any difference here in this village. Republican, Democrat, independent. There wasn't a politics about it. You were our, our representative. Um, you were always at everything. Uh, it, when we lost you, I was devastated. I mean, Certainly, Elliot is a very capable, wonderful. Oh, he is. But there was a certain personal attention that uh, really. Uh, I'm sure he will be great. Of course. But I loved, certainly, being with you and so many good friends. And what happens is when you run for office, you meet people, and they become your best friend. Right, right. And I've always felt that my relationship with you, Sonny, is so special because I know everyone who's watching knows that you're a person who gets things done. <laughs> and when Sonny will call me and say, you have to do this, of course we do it. And from the very beginning, it was Miriam Kernan, oh, and God, you yeah. remember my friend oh, Miriam? And, and of course, you guys together got the Sunny Award, one of the first. <laughs> that was so. Uh, and we called it privilege. the Long Island Sound Conservatory. We worked together oh, to clean up Long Island Absolutely. Sound. Absolutely. You guys were wonderful. And that really has a, such a major difference. Um, Miriam, yourself, uh, the, the town, that's what makes LMC TV, I don't have to tell you, because it's tri-municipal. But you have a knack, even today, I've seen you. How do you deal putting your hand across the aisle or, because you do, 
And in this terrible climate, really, how do you do that? I'll tell you how. First of all, I'm honored now to be the head of appropriation, ah, the chair. The first. First woman. Right. And when you go to Washington in the fall, you'll come to the appropriations room and there are all these men. <laughs> And my portrait will be right there in the middle. Oh, Isn't that fun? That's fun. So you'll come. You'll come to oh, the I party. Oh, I look forward. For sure. I have been to the Senate dining room with Kirsten, but I don't think I've done it. But well, you have to come. I'm coming. Are you kidding? I got the invitation on tape now. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to tell you, the key has been there are Democrats and Republicans and appropriators. You know, people are very good, the authorities. They write a lot of legislation. But we must pass a bill. And so for me to work on an appropriations bill right. and deal with all the good things, whether it's education or health care or environment, cleaning up Long Island Sound, and so much more, what an honor it is to be able to do good things every day. But you don't find the negativity because you guys know each other, you've worked together. I mean, appropriations, that's major. You're the head of the... $1.4 trillion I spend every year. And we try and just help people. Sure, there are Republicans, but on appropriations, we know we have to get a bill passed. And that's so, the way so to you, do it. You, we have a very congenial relation. There's some people that not as congenial. Right, right. But, but you we get have, it done. You have the ability to negotiate it. Exactly. Forgive my froggy throat. I've been yelling so loud for my chiefs. Um, it's worse than usual. Yeah. Um, you have the ability to, to do that. And um, I know your staff has stayed with you forever. We have Pat Keegan. Pat Keegan. Keegan. <laughs> God oh, bless my her. God. Pat Keegan is incredible, but that's the secret, too. I have Jennifer, a great staff uh, here, and in Washington, I have a great staff, and you can't Kim, do it without. I mean, you've had them oh, for sure, a very long, long time. long time, and you can't do it without a great staff, because I go from 7 in the morning, keep going. We have meetings, I, we have caucuses, we have bills to pass. So you're going all day, and if you didn't have a great staff, you couldn't get things done. Right, right. And I'm very proud of it. I mean, besides cleaning up Long Island Sound, to me, education is key, and not just here in the United States, but one of my key priorities is education for girls throughout the world. If we had more girls educated and continue to educate the men, maybe we'd have some peace Rather, these constant, constant yeah. issues now, that go on. If people didn't know it, uh, Mamaronik is very fortunate. You got us appropriations for our library. I can tell you that personally because I was negotiating, trying to get us the Hyde House walkway. And you gave me a call and you said, Sonny, the library. I said, the library comes first, always. And you did that. You. We always try and be helpful, whether it's education or health care. But I mean, that reaches libraries. the entire community. I mean, That's what could right. you do better than yeah. to do that? And uh, so, what are you proudest of? I mean, what makes you your accomplishment that's. Well, I'm here in Mamaronek. So, cleaning up Long Island Sound and the Hudson River makes me very, very proud. Uh, recently, I'll give you a recent thing, I put in millions of dollars, maybe billions of dollars, for gun control. Ah. So we can do some research on gun control. Uh, Again, it goes back to education, as you said. That is so right, because when I and you have lived through, uh, certainly what happened in Newtown, Connecticut, not ah. far from here, those beautiful little kids. And Florida so recently. And those kids, All those the, kids were. It just, just breaks your heart. So I was very pleased to be able to do that with gun control. And I mentioned education. And I also mentioned things like .08. If a youngster wants to drink, it's up to the parent. Oh, right. And the, shall we say, the community but I wanted to be sure 
that we had tough guidelines in place. So if you want a drink, just don't do it publicly. Do it and then get a ride home. And you can exactly. certainly talk about this in this community and elsewhere. Oh, it's a terrible problem. It is a, a major problem. But I'll give you another thing. We have actually safe rides in this community, which has been wonderful. But now parents tell kids, call Uber. It's terrific. And it is. <laughs> or a Lyft. Or I don't want right. to. You don't want to choose don't one. don't want to choose. I'm just saying it's really quite wonderful. Now, I'll give you another example. I don't know if you or any of your family have food allergies. No, we're lucky. But. Well, I have a vegan husband and a oh, vegetarian well, family. <laughs> well, he eats so healthy all the time. I know watching him, and then I feel guilty with what I'm eating. But it's so healthy. But you want to, whatever a person buys in the store, that's their business. But food labels. That's I very, was able exactly. to get labels on food that list the allergens that That's are really, really important. And they come out with a new something for the peanut allergy. I just saw that. That's that pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. Now, you've also been, uh, when I said Brad, it reminded me, wonderful to animals. Uh, you've been supportive to the zoo. Gray wolves. Uh, exactly. We have many friends who care about animals, and, and I, I know you and Brad does. So I made sure that we were protecting the gray wolves and other legislation. In fact, I'm so proud of the people of my district. And I don't mind if they call me every day and say, don't forget the gray wolves. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because um, you do have people come. And I, I know you travel a lot. You and Steve do yourself as a family. But also, you just came home from a very uh, emotional trip, I'm sure, for the 75th anniversary of Auschwitz, uh, I have liberation to, from the Soviets. There were two parts, Sonny. First of all, going to Auschwitz. No. Had you ever, you'd never I been. had been there before, but I went again. And to see through a glass Ooh, all chills. the little shoes of the little children and the pair, over a million people were killed at Auschwitz. And then when you see the cement blocks, which were the beds, they piled people up to sleep. No toiletry, nothing, no clothes, cold in winter, cutting off their hair. Yeah. Oh. It's, it was. And then when I went to Jerusalem after visiting Auschwitz, when I went to Jerusalem, they had an the, the, amazing Yad Vashem, I assume. Yad Vashem, but they had over 35 leaders, men, women. Prince Charles came from wow. Great Britain. Putin came from Russia. Uh, to this see is so this major. This is a major thing. Because survivors are going. We know this. And if we don't pass this on... I mean, I have always said um, Nazism didn't fall from the sky. We must have free press. We must have people who, you know, are, are allowed to express their differences. We must have differences in people. Well, in fact, <clears throat> in Jerusalem, we met with more than a dozen survivors, and they told their wow. stories. Yeah. And even those who were lucky spared the concentration oh. camp. I have a dear friend, would you believe it, lived two and a half years under floorboards where her mother couldn't even stand, and those were the righteous Christians mm. who took care of the Jews. And then one day she tells the story where they knew someone was coming to her house, and these three just left and raced, 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 through the woods, but they're here to tell the story today. Wow. So some are very lucky. But I think it's important when you see Auschwitz, and you can't imagine people being that cruel, no. that evil. No, inhumane. That there were some people, righteous Christians, who saved people, protected them. And today you see some horrors, and you wish more people would speak up, right. speak out around the world. So appropriations, you do appropriate for foreign countries. You give uh, support. Education. And certainly Israel gets a lot of money for defense. 
but Jordan gets money. King Abdullah of Jordan. You said he's wonderful, yeah. <laughs> he's wonderful, and it's difficult for him because his population is about 60 or more, oh, yeah. probably over 70 uh, percent Palestinian, so he's constantly balancing what's right and what's wrong. But for me to be on appropriations and do the foreign operations, which I love, work on health care, work on yeah. education, after school programs. Yeah. I love after school programs. And what I would say to my colleagues, look, if you don't think these kids should be getting after school support, at least look at it as a safety. They're in a safe place and they're not causing trouble. Exactly. So that's been a major accomplishment. And for working mothers. And, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's really a big thing. What about uh, absentee for uh, mothers? Uh, uh, when you have a pregnancy um, and you're able to stay home for three, I mean, is that... This should be covered, exactly. without a doubt. I mean, there's so much that we've done, but there's so much more, more to, to do. do. And I will continue. I have another whole year yeah. after this <laughs> <Thank> program. <God. laughs> and another whole bill that we work on and cleaning up the environment, education, yeah, exactly. health care. There's so much that we have to do. Climate, you have always been ahead of your time. But climate change now is so... I was just in Miami. They had a rain. Miami is going to, 50 years, will be underwater. I mean, we have to attend to this. And I'm sure the beaches were eroding. Horrible. I haven't been to Miami in a while, but this is throughout the whole country. Major coastline. problems, really, major problem. Oh, yeah. um, again, the elephant in the room, you're retiring. You've got another year. Uh, I think there's like 14 people who want to try to replace you, which no one can. I am not endorsing. No, oh, you and never we'll did. we'll see. I know. But, but I'll educate them. Yeah. I'll tell them about priorities. And, and once there is a candidate, I assume you'll be uh, helpful as you always of are. Course. Um, of course. Is it worrisome that somebody comes in new, I mean, and has to start all over? Not really, because... I mean, are there people who have been working in the... Oh, yeah. First of all... We always educate new members. We have so many great women yes, who were that's elected, true. and I know you are so supportive. And I meet with them, I talk with them. We have a woman, the first woman speaker of the House, Nancy mm -hmm. Pelosi, what a who's doing job. a great oh, job. In a very S difficult time, my oh, God. Yes. Oh, yeah. And impeachment and, and, and organize. Uh. Uh. I don't know when this program is going to show, but certainly, even when I was on this trip oh. to Israel and to Poland, I made sure I stayed up late watching the proceedings, and I was so proud yeah. of our Democrats led by Adam, Adam Schiff. Oh, he was just... He was... He actually brought me to tears at his final uh, he was, closing. He was extraordinary. And you could see that fairness was not part of the process. Because if you were to evaluate his arguments and those on the other I side, mean, now maybe I'm a particularly. Little, <laughs> but I can honestly tell you, Hakeem, who Wasn't I met, amazing? he was fabulous. He is head of our caucus. We should, and uh, he I should, uh, Hakeem Jeffries. Yeah. Uh, Hakeem Jeffries from Brooklyn has a great future. Oh. But I was proud of everyone, Jerry Nadler, yeah. Zoe Lofgren. Yeah. They did a great job. But um, somehow, uh, it didn't end up yeah. the way we wanted I, it to It's very end hard up. for me to understand, and I keep trying, how, witness, what would have been an offense of witnesses? That's my biggest problem. I mean, a trial without witnesses seems like an oxymoron, but that's just my personal well, it's my view. I mean, <laughs> I think you, it's about seventy-two percent or seventy-five percent of many the of us have the yeah, same. It view. had a high. We just to bring the witnesses. Maybe the outcome would have been the same, but we would have been informed. Yeah. And I well, thought, there were some people out there, no ma names mentioned, that had some important information yes, to share. Yes. 
But again, um, there's so much that we have to do here and Mamaronek and there will be right. a great person elected, oh, yeah. well, I'm the, sure. The wonderful thing about this area and, and even your Rockland County, uh, um, I love the Planned Parenthood uh, that's there. I went to visit recently. Um, is that it is a real community. And I don't think politics enters so much into it. It's more about helping people. I, I really feel that. I mean, when I did the historic Harbor Street Fair, everybody, I mean, it was just like, it was neighbors seeing neighbors reaching out. And it was just, it made me so proud. Well, in fact, as a member of Congress, I have been, as you know, all over my district. Right talking to people, right. and most people really want you to serve them, them and their community. That's right. Once in a while, in all the years, I had a great conversation at a fair, <laughs> and then at the end of this 20 minutes, she said, by the way, are you a Democrat or Republican? I love it. And I said, a Democrat. So, oh, then I can't vote for you. But that's very, very rare. 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 I think most people really care about who you are and what you're going to do for their community. Absolutely. And you, most people want good schools. They want to make sure they have health care for their kids. They want to be able to go to the beach here in this Absolutely. wonderful community and have a clean Long Island Sound. And you go over to see the Hudson River. I care about the oh, Hudson it, River, it's too. Great. It's so beautiful. And most people care. There are some who don't care as much, right? but most people are wonderful but, citizens like you. Well, I think the operative is, is that you were there. They could see your face. They could talk to you. Um, to me, it's such a major thing to be able to reach out. And, you know, I know it's a pain in the neck when people call all the time. I really try no, to be careful. No, I love but it. But there is somebody here who really wants to say something special to you. Uh, and that's our Westchester County Executive, George Latimer. So oh. let me let George have his uh, time talking. Hi, this is George Latimer, Westchester County Executive and longtime friend of Congresswoman Nina Lowy. Nina, we love you. You're terrific. Change your mind and stay. But if you can't stay, come on down to White Plains. We can use your talent and your ability and your advice. We love you. Great job you've done. Keep on keeping on. I love George Latimer. And I must tell you that George Latimer, when I first ran, went door to door, and I would smile, but he'd know their name. Oh, yeah. I never met that anyone man like is George a Latimer. I mean, he knows everybody. He goes to every. We are so blessed to have George. He is, and he's doing a great job as county executive. But he did say something that, that is very interesting. Uh, he said, "Come on down to White Plains. Will you stay? Will you keep your finger in the pot a little? Will you stay uh, involved?" Let me say, there is no doubt, as a citizen, yes, and as a person who lives here in Westchester. I am going to stay involved when anybody needs help. I am happy to offer any kind of advice if they want it. You so never you'll know. come marching with me and always, and, uh, always. Okay. As soon as you get uh, this little bit of a taking care of yourself, <laughs> uh, we'll go marching together. Always, that would be excellent. Always, I was march doing the women's march uh, in oh my god, two, a week ago, ten days, ago, and it didn't just start. It was freezing. And all of a sudden, there was a snow shower. I thought, I am too old for this. <laughs> <laughs> You're never, first of all, you look younger oh, and yeah, younger. Right. And no one's ever too old. What amazed me, I've been in so many marches, <laughs> and I remember the pink berets. Oh, I was wearing a pink beret at this one. It did, was great. It, it kept covered you my warm. ears. Yeah, yeah, right? I remember that. And, and, and what would you want to do? Because we just have such a little time. I can't believe it. If you want, to, what would you want to share with your loving public um, that uh, we haven't gotten or we haven't? I'll tell you what I would like to share. Okay. And this has been a message of mine since I was PTA president. Oh, okay. Way back when, for my kids' schools, I was always involved. There are some people the League in of our, Women Voters. The PTA. whole thing. Now there are some people who see a problem and walk on. 
I have always felt, and it's a message that I deliver to kids and I visit schools all the time. If you see a problem, you have a responsibility to do something about it. And sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it means going door to door, mm. sometimes it means heading up a recycling effort, getting involved in campaigns. But we have a response. It's fine to have fun and play tennis and play golf. You can do whatever you want to do. But you have a responsibility to make this a better world. We're very lucky. Oh. Living here in Westchester, living here in the United States of America, we all have a responsibility as citizens to make this even a better community and a better world. And that's the message I would have to all my friends and neighbors. Ah, it brings tears to my eyes because I don't know what we're going to do with that, Yanita. Um, I just uh, in, I just am thrilled that you came to talk with us, and I know that you're going to have a wonderful life and that you won't leave us, that you'll still be in Rye. Uh, in Harrison. Harrison. Or Rye. Rye. You know, it's you're on the some, I'm on the border. Exactly. Some call it Rye, some call it Harrison. Uh, Harrison's looking wonderful, and, and I'll read... <laughs> The whole Westchester is just... Uh, it's a great place to live, and is. we're very lucky. The schools are good, the policemen, the firefighters. You can the get on a train, go to Manhattan. I mean, where else can you do that? It's You know, I'll, I'll give you a little funny... <laughs> I remember I was cooking Thanksgiving dinner, and the gravy boiled over. Ah. And the smoke started rising, <laughs> and my fire alarm went off. And there came the fire, fire department. department. I said, don't worry about it. It's just my turkey in the oven. But when you mentioned civil servants oh. and people in our community, I had about five firemen in my kitchen. And I, the, cook, the turkey was not ready, so I couldn't share. <laughs> Can I tell you, that's one thing people forget. Taxes, pay for our schools, pay for the roads, pay for the firemen, That's pay right. for the uh, You know, taxes are good things. That, right. that, you know, I feel well, like, we'd all like the taxes a little, little lower. Okay. Every woman. But still, but, they do have a purpose. Absolutely. And, and, and you need public officials who try and take care of your money and wisely. spend it as carefully as they can. But schools are important. The fire department is oh, important. God, yeah. Nita, I can't thank you enough, my darling. I wish you everything good and wonderful in the years to come. And I am not giving up. I am never going to be silent. Oh, Sonny, you? do you all know how incredible Sonny <laughs> Goldberg is? And if there is a problem, Sonny will always address With it. With you by my done. side, I can. Always. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. And we'll make sure that Representative Nita Lowy comes back and tells us all about her adventures with Stephen and her wonderful grandchildren and divine daughters and son. Thanks again. See you next time. Bye.